Tonight, the Detroit Zoo has some visitors that they weren't expecting, but they would never turn away. That's right. As Jason Carr reports, Zoo says these rescued animals represent a worldwide crisis threatening certain kinds of turtles. Turtles, tortoises, terrapins, trouble. We were contacted by U.S. Fish and Wildlife um, a few days ago about a major seizure of wildlife at the border. Um, we've taken in or providing care to 1,007 little turtles. Reptiles similar to these we found online. The zoo providing us with actual photos of the diamondback terrapin and the African spur-thighed tortoise in their care currently. Apparently there's an international turtle smuggling ring within the illegal animal trade. Okay. Scott Carter is the zoo's chief life sciences officer. Unfortunately, this is not an uncommon occurrence. Trafficking in wildlife happens all over the place. It happens under our nose. Um, this is one of those times when the hard work of places like and people like the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service pay off and we can um, catch and hopefully prosecute the people that are responsible. Whether intended as pets or, yep, even food, getting these animals from point A to point B is the profit motive that causes someone to pack them in suitcases or even hide them inside their underwear to try to sneak through customs. I'm not even sure what to say what I thought of that. The first thing I thought about was, was how uncomfortable that must have been. The zoo even had to go last minute shopping for extra supplies. It's not every day you take in so many confiscated animals. In Royal Oak, Jason Carr, Fox 2 News.